Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy Tactics on the PSP. We are in Chapter 4 now, and there is still some trouble. <clears throat> we are heading on our way to Zeltenia Castle. To speak with uh, Count Orlando and uh, Orin and a few people. And uh, we're still heretics. But that's to be expected. We knew that was going to happen. And so once you get to Chapter 4, um, you open up uh, some side quests. Of which I have taken care of. One of them starts in the clockwork city of Gaug. And it involves um, Ustadio's father, like, finding a construct and not knowing how to activate it. <clears throat> and then you work with this other guy to rescue some dragon uh, and to get the item or whatever that you need to activate the construct. And at the end of it, um, you get three new additions to your party. You get the dragon. Uh, he's a holy dragon. <clears throat> you get the guy, Beowulf. He's a Templar. He's actually pretty good. Um, he's got the ability, uh, Spellblade, so he can use some spells with his sword. Such as Vengeance. <clears throat> which has long range and, uh, hurts pretty good. And Chicken, which just, uh rex characters bravery and stuff so he's decent but we have a nice party and then finally you get the construct itself which is kind of cool i've never used him but he gets um tasks as you can see which involve like shooting lasers um but he does count as a monster so he can't you know change anything so not that cool Maybe someday I'll play through this game and just try to use, uh, like, a full monster party at the end or something, but... Yeah, uh, mostly I just wanted to do it to, you know, get some more experience and have a little story while you did it. The other side quest involves, um... It involves Agrius. <clears throat> There's three prerequisites. Uh, to do the side quest. It's really not even a quest. You just have to fulfill the prerequisites. One is having $500,000 in your war funds. Which you can see I have. Uh, two is you must have alive in your party roster. Uh, Agrius, Mustadio, uh, Lavian, and Alicia. Those four characters must all be in your roster. Uh, finally, you must go to, like, <clears throat> a town, or, you know, you must go to a blue dot on the first of Cancer. So, on that specific day. And if you fulfill all that stuff, you get a little cutscene where Mustadio gives Agrius a birthday gift. That That's it. It's her birthday. And so he gives her a gift. The gift he gives her, he takes... The <laughs> He takes the cost out of your war funds without asking, which is bullshit. Uh, I don't know why you need to have 500000 at least, but the, he, it costs 50000 So you lose 50000 by doing it. But you get one of the best uh, accessories in the game, <clears throat> and that's the Tynar Rouge. It's lipstick. It's $50,000 lipstick that he gives her. It gives plus three physical attack, plus three magic attack, it boosts your holy damage, and it has automatic protect, shell, and haste. It's amazing. <clears throat> it can only be used by females, but, um, you know, it's for Agrius. That, that's as far as I'm concerned. So, but if you're not using Agrius, you know, you can still get it as long as she's in your roster along with the other people, and you can throw it on anybody. So, yeah, she's going to be even more powerful. <clears throat> but, yeah, I did do a lot of leveling. <laughs> Probably more than I needed to. Um, like, I, grinding just 
carries you away. Carries you away. So Rams is 46 now. Right now he's a samurai. Um, I'm trying to get him to be a dark knight so he can pick up move plus three, but uh, he's gonna end the game as a, a dragoon, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, Agrius also a samurai because she's also trying to become a death uh, dark knight, um, which will be her final job. So she is gotten to level 8 ninja she needs level 8 samurai level 8 dragoon i think you have to master knight and probably something else so it takes quite a while to get dark knight we're not there yet of course but she's on the way uh lotta time mage delilah has mastered white mage so now she's a summoner that way both of my spellcasters have some support and some damage just in case uh, Mustadi was an orator, an orator. Um, he's trying to get equipped guns. Uh, and I think he's going to end up as a ninja with equipped guns. You can't dual wield guns, unfortunately. It's really lame. But even so, having a gun on a ninja, he's very fast. He's got good damage, good range. That'll be where he ends up, I think. I think. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, we should be very powerful and able to just stomp through this. Let's do it. Dagura Pass. I mean, all I really have to send is Agrius, but we'll send the full party. So long as we draw breath, you will find no passage through these lands. Okay, well, we'll have to rectify that then. Oh, look. Agrius went first. How convenient. I hit that one guy real freaking hard. Uh, okay. So, of course, Agrius now has uh, the Shiradori or whatever. So, she's very, very hard to hit uh, in melee combat, which is good. Let us haste her. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, she's automatically hasted. Shit. Oh, I already keyed it in. Oh, well. Yeah, she has auto-haste, auto-protect, auto-shell, and she's really difficult to hit with melee weapons. My god. He's on the run. You don't know what to do. He's got Titan. Might as well tighten it up. Oh boy. Let's see. That works for me. Enough of your magic. I just want to show you Titan, because the summons are cool. <laughs> he just does the people's elbow to the entire continent. 
And it's pretty solid damage, you can't complain. Oh, well, we gotta take you out, don't we? Throw that bullet! Well, we'll just have to deal with you, won't we? Ha! Yeah, Agrius is pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I mean, if I was struggling on this fight, uh, we would definitely have some some troubles. Moogle. I could just cast Kiraga or something, but here's a Moogle. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's smack you upside the head, shall we? Not enough to kill, though. That's why Ninja's so good. Having the double hits is... Really, really good. Damn it. Alright, just shoot... Uh... Oh, boy. Shoot her. With purple damage. And let us put an end to this folly. The battle is won. go again. Oh, no. Okay, I put Mustadio there. You slew my brother, and I will have satisfaction of you. Your brother? Who are you? Do not play games with me. I am Mel Meliadul Tengil. You killed my brother Isolid at Riovanus, and now you will die. Not by any order of his holiness. I do this for Isolid. Okay, I mean, I didn't kill your brother, but I'll kill you. All I have to do is kill her. That should be easy enough. Let's see here. Fortunately, Agrius does not have the requisite hops needed. But we can still put a bee in her bonnet, so to speak, by silencing her ass. Oh, yeah, I'm sh Oh, my gosh, you connected. 2% chance. You say Isolid was your brother, but I am not your brother's killer. Do you not know what happened at Riavanis? The murder done there was not done by the hand of any man. An abomination. A Lukavi killed your brother. Lukavi? So the Lukavi again walk among us, killing for their own delight. Ha! A splendid tale. 
but a lie less fanciful might better persuade. They keep the truth from you as they did your brother. Your puppets, dancing on strings you can or will not see. The Zodiac Stones are much more than holy crystals to be revered. They hold real power, the power to work wonders. A power in itself neither good nor evil, but the purpose your masters would put it to is plain enough. Open your eyes, Meliduel. Let Fulmar deceive you no longer. Do you think to convince me with this prattle? You are a fool indeed. My father would never deceive me so. Lord Fulmarv is your father? Well, that's that. <laughs> well, I mean, we kind of want to get up high, but he doesn't have hops either. So not a whole lot to say. You're not you're not connecting with these shots. Angles don't work like that, man. Oh wait, let me check. Man, he can shoot far, but no. Angles, man. Crush armor. Oh. I have to get new armor. See when you can uh, when you have the height advantage, you can do some cool stuff. And now I think we lost our. Oh no, she didn't aim for the summoner for some reason. Oh, but she is. Okay, we can get a big heal. We don't need that big of a heal. Get this heal. I mean, if this is directed on a unit, I don't know if I really want to... See you. My rhymes a kick her ass. Ignore that elevation. <laughs> Look at that. Dem hops. Didn't expect that, did you? You fight well. Small wonder Vigra fell to you. Hear me, Ramza. When next we meet, your blood will soak the earth. I think I've heard that before. Battle is won. Alright, we gotta get new armor on her. Who's got luminous robes on? Who's got luminous robes on? Beowulf? You don't get that. I'm just gonna remove those. You don't get to have those. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I think we're fine. Let's just keep moving. Onto the creek.
You know that trick too, making a whistle of a blade of grass. Friend taught me when I was living at the monastery. I can never seem to make it work though. Here, like this. I did it! What is that? Oh, this? A pendant? I keep it as a remembrance of my sister, Titra. She... She was caught up in this fighting and died. I'm sorry. She died for the nobility's convenience. They used her and cast her away. And for that I cannot forgive them. I shall not let them deal to you the same fate they dealt to her. I will protect you from aught and all who would use you. Alita, thank you. But, in the meantime, I have to fight some people at a creek. Hmm, we're split up again, huh? Okay. Well, I can handle that. I don't know if that's like a great mixture, but... Putting uh, Lauda with the others means she can haste them, and Agrius doesn't need to be hasted. waters are deeper than I thought. A single misstep could spell disaster. It's like that one creek that's in like, I don't know, it's in like in England or Scotland or something over there. Where it's like, it looks like a normal creek, but if you fall into it, you're just, your body is like ripped to shred by rocks and your body will never be found because they have no idea where it goes and stuff. I'm sure it's got a name, I can't remember, but it was pretty wild. Is that the best I can do? Well, I suppose it is. Hollow Bolt has the highest damage outside of Divine Ruination. Um, and I don't think... Oh, I can hit him. Let's try it. We weren't killing anything this turn. Choco Meteor. Ow. And randomly there's just a pig. I see some ripe... Titany, that's what I see right there. That is a good mixture. Um, fuck. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's no Agrius, is he? I just like the idea of having guns. Oh yeah, 
just bunch up. Actually, that hurts. Uh, I should probably heal Ramza, but god damn it, actually. Well, that's not great, is it? But I'm not gonna fire off anything. Uh, no, I guess I'll heal Ramza. Not even that much. Can at least do some of this stuff. I confused one. That means they'll gang up on him. They immediately will try to kill anything that's confused. I kill the red ones pretty quickly. Uh, okay. Let me see here. I mean, with this, 107 damage, that's nothing. Alright, that's a little bit better. Because it's raining. Yeah, it's about as good as we're gonna get, unless I use flare. But this way, I can hit a whole bunch of shit. Uh. I guess we'll just. Um, um, I guess I'll hope for the KO. No, it rarely happens. But that's okay. I think I killed the purple one and a red one. The pig. There you go. That was a pretty good spell. And now we can just pick off this guy, like, this way. And we're pretty much done. Not gonna end a battle with Mustadio dead. That would be ridiculous. for the KO again. Really? Oh my gosh. Not even Mustadio has that kind of range. Not even Mustadio. Just focus and I'll just pass everything to Agrius. Give her the old alley-oop. Oh, no focus again, why not? Get 10 XP every time and a bunch of job points. Why did he turn away from me? Who knows? Who knows what chocobos are thinking?
All right, finally, we make it to Zeltenia. A heretic at prayer in a church, passing bold, Ramza. I shall ask it plain. Why has the High Confessor planted you amongst Goltana's men? I see no harm in telling you. Duke Goltana and Count Orlando. I am to assassinate them. <gasps> Groups such as the Corpse Brigade, ill-contented with the Crown and the nobility are in no short supply. The Church only fans Rebellion's flame. The people tire of war. And their disdain for the crown waxes with each passing day. Of course, Goltana and Lark want to put down the rebellions at home. Only they lack the troops to do so. To break the impasse, they seek to bring an end to the conflict for good and all. Even as we speak, their armies mess at Fort Bessala to that purpose. Then these months of rebellion and unrest, it all goes as the High Confessor had planned. Yes, but it will not end as they have hoped. Larg and Goltana will be assassinated once the battle begins. Cut off one head, and two more spring forth. So naturally their closest allies must die with them. Count Orlando of the Order of the Southern Sky, Zalbag of the Northern, and of course, Lord Dysodark. With their leaders gone, the fighting will cease, and they will have no choice but to embrace the peace we offer. A peace? Or surrender on the Church's terms? The people will proffer to the Church the role of mediator with hands upraised. What's more? The church will have the Zodiac Braves. But there's the rub. One thing yet remains between the church and the Aurasite. The heretic, Ramza Beulf. Beulf. Is that it? You've come to fetch the Aurasite for your masters. I am no hound healer of the church's skirts. I answer to no one but myself. Meaning what? Or not. As long as they remain so, you are no enemy of mine. Delita. Let us fight this together. I cannot join you. She needs me far too much to leave her now. The princess? Prince or princess? The church cares not. It craves only power. A puppet state, with the High Confessor at its strings. This is their grand plan for Ivalice. Say Ivalice? Ivalice? And you? Do you not use Ophelia to fulfill your own ambitions? I cannot say. I am sure only of this. To save her life, I would gladly give my own. You must think this strange. No. I understand only too well. I address the heretic from Zarbeo. You are besieged. You will surrender yourself up to us at once! I know that voice. Confessor Salmor.
I feel like the audio mixing was sort of bad for most of that cinematic. But all right, thrown into a battle. So I was right about Dysadarg pronunciation, but it's Orlando and Zalbag, which is a little weird. And then it was a combination of Ivalis and Ivalis by being Ivalis. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how he pronounced it. The music was really loud, but uh, we'll go with Ivalis. Well, another day, another battle against the church accusing me of being a heretic. Black Ram Knights Delita Arrow. Yours is an unexpected sight. He has seen me. He must not live to tell of it. We must fight them, Ramza. They know nothing of the High Confessor's plot. They serve him blindly. If we explain what has happened, they may well listen. Here are your words, Ramza. Reasoning with their ilk is folly. Even you must see this. You have leave to try. I don't think I'm going to try. Oh, actually, I'm sure Ramza is going to try throughout the battle. He'll suddenly stop and be like, Hey, man, I'm cool, and you're cool. Let's be cool. And then he'll say, Die, heretic, and then he'll stab me. But until that happens, let us have, um, no, we're in a really shitty position, and I feel like we're going to continue to be in a shitty position for some time. Holy shit. I did not know it had that kind of verticality. My god, I wouldn't even, even, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, whoa. That's pretty cool. Don't worry, I'll shoot him. 48 damage is a little weak. Aw, oh, come on, I'm one square off. Ah, damn it. That would have been badass. Here we go. Damn. Let us haste good old... I really should haste Delita, shouldn't I? 68% chance. I'll take those odds, because I will succeed. Ha ha ha. You realize what it is you do. This man is a heretic. You that do abet him shall share his fate. Did not think to find the commander of the Black Ram Knights a traitor to our cause. My choice is made. If it means I must slay each of you to the man, so be it. You should tremble with fear to mock the heavens so. To slay a man of the cloth is to wound this fair land's peace and turn your back on the natural order the Father has bestowed on us. It is to turn your back on the gods! Whom the peace? Ha! You hide behind this peace only as it suits you. You invoke the name of the gods to subjugate the weak. This peace you hail is a vile farce. Men such as you profane the gods to speak their names. He's got no response to that, but he is gonna, like, full heal himself. We'll get him eventually, don't worry. We'll get him. That's your grand plan? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. I 
Yeah, it's got some vertical movement, to say the least. Sweet. Okay. Um, Delita? Um, I'm your friend. Oh, boy. <sighs> Was that really worth it, man? Was that really, really worth it? Seems like not not worth it. Not not worth that. Cause now I have to spend time reviving him. Um, that could be better spent doing other things. It took 216 bucks from me? Okay. You'll never live to spend it! Boosting his faith. What good does that do? He's using potions. Oh my god. Yeah, that'll save you. The Delita, you can kill things without killing your buddies. Isn't that nice? in his buddy. These mystics just suck. About standing here because I feel like Delita is gonna kill me, but uh, not if I do some shooting. I don't think I'm gonna hit that guy. I don't think I'm gonna hit anything. It's all gonna. Oh no, I can. Good. Delita won't kill me now. Ha <laughs> ha. Hopefully he can take out both of those nice and cleanly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You just get a couple holy knights and uh, you know every scenario is pretty easy. you're gonna do haste yourself for for points yeah I mean meh I ain't too worried. <laughs> Alright. Great Father, strike these sinners that they may feel your wrath. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.
Where will you go now, Ramza? Two errands brought me to Zeltenia. The first was to meet with you. The second is to speak with Count Orlandu. The Thunder God? I mean to enlist his aid in exposing the Church's intrigues. How? I have powerful evidence of the Church's misdeeds. The scriptures of Germanique. I spoke with the Count's adopted son, Orin, not long past. He pledged their aid should I bring hard evidence against the Church. Orin, eh? Maud, eh? It's alright, she's with me. Mulan has provided several others to help me carry out my task. She is but one. Help you? I was sent to keep watch on you. And a fine job you're doing of it. Only she knows our plans in full. I trust no other in Goltana's army more. I... no, more. You're the youngest Beowulf, Ramza, am I right? My name is Val... Valmafra. Take it you did not come for idle chat. The Northern Order moves. They make for Besselet? Count Orlando himself has departed for the same only just now. Duke Goltana is like to join them soon, at the head of your Black Ram Knights, no less. Then we're too late. The fighting will continue. Do not give up yet. I might still convince the Count to avoid this needless bloodshed. And then our paths part once again. Be safe, Delita. And you, Ramza. I didn't comment on it, but Ramza did get a new appearance, of course. You mean to let him go? He acts as I expected he would. Even your friends are only pieces to be played. Mind your words. You know not what you say. Such outbursts ill become a man. Haven't you somewhere else to be? Alright. Well, next time... We will uh, be heading to the Sand Waste and then Fort Besselad, hopefully to finally meet with Count Orlando. The road marches on and on, um, but we've covered a lot of the map now, so making good progress. My name is Meng. Gaming watching has been Final Fantasy Tactics. I'll see you, fine folks, in the next part.